How do you know that you're wearing your N95 mask properly? How do you know that it fits your face? This video was a special request from one of my viewers. Big shout out to my friend Amin, this one's for you. He specifically asked me to make a tutorial video on wearing an N95 mask properly and doing a fit test. So a fit test is the way you know that the mask is fitting your face and it's doing its job properly. The reason why you wear an N95 mask is because it, it filters out 95% of the particles that are down to 0.3 microns. You don't need an N95 mask in all situations. We do know that cloth masks are a good option if, if you can socially distance and wash your hands at the same time. For situations when you cannot socially distance, maybe on an airplane, an N95 mask is a good option. But if it doesn't fit you properly, then it's not doing the job that you got it for. So let's go through that. First, you might be wondering, who is this person and why should I listen to her about masks? My name is Dr. Rachel Johns. I'm an internal medicine doctor specializing in hospital-based medicine. I've been a doctor since 2002. I've worked in a hospital since that time, and every year in the hospital, we get fit tested for N95 masks. So I have gone through an official fit test for 18 years. So I do know a little something about it, and today I'm here to share that knowledge with you and teach you about how you can do it yourself at home. So let's get started. So obviously you need a mask. I have two here I wanna share with you. I have what's called a duckbill mask, and then I have this circular mask. Now notice that both of them have this NIOSH symbol, NIOSH, it's National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health, and so every N95 mask should have that symbol on it so that you know it's a real N95 mask. Ever since this whole thing started, there's you know a lot of fake masks going around, so make sure that you have a proper N95 mask. The other thing that you will need is something that you can mist in the air and taste. So in the official fit testing, they use some kind of bitter tasting thing that I don't really want to use today. Uh, so I'm going to use peppermint oil. Uh, you can use any oil that's used for aromatherapy. Uh, it, it gets misted in the air. You can smell it. You can breathe it in safely. This says, you know, it's only for external use. I'm not going to drink it. Um, and so I have put it into this bottle that I'm going to mist in the air and see if I can taste it. So you have to do this first before you put your mask on. Not everybody can taste certain things. Okay, so I'm going to just mist this onto my hand. I can taste that. Okay, so now I can put on my mask, then I'm going to mist again and see if the mask is doing its job. So if the mask is doing its job, I should not be able to taste or smell that. So let's do the duckbill first. You'll see why it's called a duckbill when I put it on. So they all have two strings. One goes at the bottom of your head and one goes at the top. For this mask, they are attached to the mask at the same location. The circular mask I'm going to show you, their strings are a little bit different. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that I get the bottom first. So one string goes down below my ears, the other string goes near the top of my head. And I'm going to make sure that the bottom of the mask goes under my chin, and the top has a little metal in it. I'm going to pinch and make sure that it is properly fitted to my face. I'm going to take a couple deep breaths. Feel around. I don't feel any air coming out. So here's the test. I'm going to miss this. I can't breathe that. I can't taste that. So this works. Okay. So again, you can see why it's called the duckbill. So let's take this off, take the strings off first. Okay, if you've been wearing this for a long time in an isolation room, you really don't wanna grab the outside of the mask, take it off by the strings, and then throw it away. These are meant to be single use, okay? And so next we're going to try the circle mask, and now these strings 
there's a top and a bottom. So what you want to do is crisscross the strings so that the string that starts at the bottom goes to the top of your head, the string at the top of the mask goes to the bottom of your head. So this one I'm going to grab it and put it on my face. The bottom string goes to the top of my head like so and the top string goes down to the bottom. Doesn't really matter which one goes on first and again I want to make sure that it's fitted to the bottom of my chin and the little metal thing fits to my face. Okay? So then I'm going to mist again. Take a few deep breaths. And I cannot taste that again. So we know that these masks are a good fit for me. Now this mask specifically is a small, I have a small face. So I have a small size. This mask also comes in a regular size and I have tried fit testing for that. When I try that mask, I can actually feel air coming out through the nose. Even though I pinch it, it still comes out. And when I do the bitter, I can taste it. So that's a fail. I don't fit in a regular circular 3M mask. So I have to have a small. So again, when you take it off, take it off by the strings. You don't touch the outside of the mask and then you throw it away. So that's how you properly fit test an N95 mask. If you have any questions, please put that in the comment section below. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. I'm Dr. Rachel Johns, and I'm here to help you control your medical problems so that they don't control you. Bye.